another video. As you can tell by the title, an unboxing of the Soho Extra Large Michael Kors bag. I don't know if I said that right, but anyways, let's get into the video. Let me tell you a little backstory. It was hard finding this bag. I did not want to order it because I'm very impatient when it comes to ordering online. I went to two malls. One didn't have it, but one did. I was just excited to get it because it's sold out in all the malls. I have like five malls close to where I live. This one was waiting for me and oh my god, like, and here it is. Oh, it's very wrapped, but as you can tell, it is brand new. I mean, obviously, it's so soft. If you don't know already, Michael Kors is having a sale and it ends May 24th. So I will recommend you, if, if you're wanting to get a bag like this, go and check it out. And I ended up picking up the extra large because you know i'm a mom i need it i needed to fit a lot a lot of stuff honestly and this is kind of difficult to take off but just give me give me a second while i take this off so i managed to take all the wrapper off and look at this beauty I don't know if you can tell that it's the extra large, but I love how fancy it looks. And the reason for this purchase is because it looks like the Chanel bag. And if you haven't already seen the prices of those bags, like I'm glad that Michael Kors is here to make quality bags affordable and i just fell in love with this bag i mean i seen the large and when i first looked at it i was like not like i need it it looks much smaller than this one but as soon as i found out there was an extra large i was like okay it's bigger and i love that it has a pocket on the back it is like very spacious like i could just slide in you know a phone, receipts, money, change, um, hand sanitizer. I didn't know how to open this bag at first and I seen them on Macy's and I was just like, you know, how do you open it? Do you pull this? Like I didn't even ask anybody. I was just kind of looking at the bag and trying to figure out how you open it. Do you press this button? Does it open? Do you have to pull this? Like I could not figure it out. So I was just looking at this bag for a good minute until, you know, I just decided to move the circle. So to open this bag, you just pull the circle down and it opens very easy. So let me just remove this. I like how they wrap it up very nicely. It's very secure. This is just a very elegant bag. I wanted the black one because I don't have a black bag and it matches with everything. And as you can see, it is so like spacious. I love that it has compartments. Like I need that because I carry a lot of stuff. So I have like this opening right here this compartment this pocket whatever you want to call it the inside is so spacious like and then it comes like with this middle pocket like that is just so nice it comes with the dust bag oh my gosh i don't know if the outlet ones are just the ones the bags that don't come with the bat with the dust bag and the retail stores do come with the dust bag because if you haven't seen my outlet Michael Kors unboxing, like my haul, then go look at that. You'll notice that I didn't get the dust bags and I was disappointed, but you know, they sell them on the website or on the store. I'm not sure when I went, I forgot to ask for them, but 
it's not a big deal to me because I have them hanged. So here is the back compartment and it is just super spacious. And here is the tag for it. It has the back zipper right here. So, and the care card. So I needed this bag. like. I wanted it, I needed it, it was just so beautiful. The sale is amazing, like it's not a big sale, but like for this bag that I think it just came out, I am not sure, it was a good buy. Like I got a good discount, like the price for it was the same price as buying the regular large Soho. What I also loved about this bag is that you can carry it as like a shoulder bag look how nice it looks like that is just so cute you can carry it as a crossbody like i love that because i have kids not i cannot be holding a bag like 24 7 when i'm out and about so it just looks so nice and I'm 5'4 so I mean I don't mind the length that it is like it doesn't bother me sometimes I throw my bags to the back because I mean they're putting the baby on the car seat or just doing stuff but if you put it in the front you know you look it looks fancy like I love how the gold hardware complements the black it just goes really well with it i love the sound of it too the, the sound that it makes it's just like this heavy like expensive chain it looks like an expensive bag i believe that it is lambskin i'm not sure if it's like just leather but i know it's 100 percent leather but i think it's lambskin and I'm just in love with this bag. It looks just like the Chanel, like I said. It's a perfect, perfect dupe for it. Of course, I needed a, I needed a wallet to go with my bag. The retail store, Michael Kors, didn't have any in stock because of Mother's Day. I went to Macy's, so I found a matching wallet. I'm not about to, you know, put a big wallet into this bag. It's gonna take up most most of the space in there. I got one, you know, that's gonna fit perfectly in there. And it's not so big. This is the wallet right here. It is just a small, this is the tag for it. It is the Jet Set Charm medium envelope trifold leather black leather wallet this is how they're going to complement each other absolutely gorgeous it's gorgeous like let me show you the inside as well i've been waiting to do, to do this unboxing because i really want to use my bag already so this is the wallet i like that it has enough card holder pockets and it just feels so nice and then just put your cash in there your id your debit credit cards and it's so easy to just like open and then over here you have your change just throw your change or your receipts in here so it's just so nice like i i love everything about this bag like i know i just bought some bags and honestly those were a good sell from my last haul but i had to have this one because it was just the steel so look at that like i'm just gonna be throwing the wallet in there and it doesn't take up much stuff i mean much space this bag is gonna get used like it's gonna get a lot of use out of me like i don't know if you get some like a feeling when i bend the flap down but that's like it's a bag that's what it's for you're gonna use it girl like 
I love how the wallet just complements so well. It's the same like quilted. It just fits nice in there, you know. I have a lot, a ton of space. I still got this pocket to fill, the middle pocket to fill, something to throw in there, and then my wallet. I still could fit my makeup bag in there. I still have the back pocket. I don't need to be carrying a whole diaper bag, honestly, because during these times, I don't really much go traveling anywhere far than. You know, because I come right back home. Let me just grab the receipt so I can show you how much I paid. I cannot find the receipt. I absolutely don't even know what I did with it. Like, it just disappeared. I cannot find it, though. But the bag itself, as you can tell by the tag, it's like $428. Yeah, so it's $428, and they're having like a 25% discount. I couldn't pass up the deal because I don't know when their next sale is going to be. And this one, like I said, it's a good steal. Like the Soho bag. I haven't seen many reviews on YouTube for this bag. So I just thought, you know, for reference. And then the wallet was on sale for $96. Original price, I think it was like... Oh, where am I... What am I doing? I have it right here. The original price is $128, but I had a Macy's gift card, so I only pay like $77 for the wallet and then $347 for the bag. And I just, I love this. Like, I'm going to be using this everywhere, but probably mostly like this. Like, I love that it has the patty. I was thinking about getting the Victoria's Secret bag, but that one, like, it just, it, it wasn't big enough. And then the chain didn't have the padding. If I'm going to buy a bag, I'm going to buy the one that I want. Worth it to me. I hope that you like this review slash unboxing. See you on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.